Yo, what's going on YouTube? Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys, and join today. I appreciate all these views that are coming in, you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification bell for more videos to come. And so, you guys, uh, today I'm going to do a voice reaction video on my guy, Tap Out Connor. He got this video, none PG WWE moments in 2021. We sort of seen him in 2022 so far, but uh, he got one of 2021. So we know now that WWE on Raw is going from PG to going to, um, what's they call it? They call it a uh, TV 14. So I'm ready to see what's gonna happen um, and all the good stuff as weeks to come. But let's go ahead and not take too much time, you guys, and check out the video by my guy, Tap Out Connor. If you're subscribed to him, he has awesome videos. If you're not, go uh, subscribe to him as well. You see his name on the left-hand side of your screen. Subscribe to him and to myself as well. And thank you, guys. Let's uh, jump into the video. This is sick! And this goes back to what Orton said earlier. He's capable of anything. WWE's TV shows might be rated PG, but the stuff you're about to see will seriously make you wonder, how were they able to get away I with know this? That wasn't real to P. many fans' delight, John Cena returned to WWE at Money in the Bank. Just about everyone was happy to see him, except for Roman Reigns. A few days later, Reigns grabbed a mic and yep, mocked Cena money in the bank how repetitive and boring year, he was. You guys. It wasn't anything that controversial, but then Roman Reigns compared John Cena to this. It's like missionary position every single night. <laughs> but wait, Rowan Reigns wasn't done yet. A few weeks later, the head of the table and Cena came face to face. I guess Reigns didn't feel like the rivalry was heated or personal enough, so he said... Now, you guys, with Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns been championing you guys ever since 2020 uh, at the SummerSlam where he defeated Braun, where he defeated Braun Strowman uh, and Bray Wyatt in that uh in that match and so ever since then he's became uh universal champion uh he's been on top of his game and all that you guys but you know now uh i know most of you guys do know that he's a part-time wrestler now with his new contract he recently signed like a month or two ago and so you guys um but him and cena you know they can definitely go at it on a mic and it's great to see roman um have those great mic skills just as he do right now but let's continue the video you guys at this 20 plus years of missionary might have been good enough for you but it wasn't good enough for nikki bella damn bobby lashley and goldberg threw everything they had at each other at SummerSlam. lashley won the match but the almighty wasn't done yet Lashley I get started tired of seeing Goldberg, Goldberg steal Russell, chair. You guys. I think that was the last was time Goldberg's he's ever Gage been seen on to TV. Defense, but Lashley well, put I think it was the match after this him seems like and uh, in WWE Bobby Lashley had and Goldberg ended up winning Gage that match. 15 years old. That's right. Bobby Lashley assaulted a minor. That can be up to five years in prison. It's not like I'm reading too deep into this either. MVP gets on the mic and defends Lashley by saying he couldn't have known that was Goldberg's child. Correct me if I'm wrong, but not even the Attitude Era went this far. The North American champion, yeah, Johnny Gargano, was wasn't too happy far. with NXT general manager, I wonder, William did Regal. They just go off script Finally, on that Gargano one. had enough and decided to storm into Regal's office with Austin Theory. Johnny Gargano was all business, but Austin Theory had his eyes on something else. Those are huge. Are they real? I mean, yeah. They gotta Whoa. be real. Theory? Those are the biggest nails I've ever seen. Can I, you, can I hey, don't. Hey, no, he wasn't yeah, talking about looking at too. No fingernails on her nails. Hands. Okay, if you thought that was inappropriate, you haven't seen anything yet. Throughout 2021, Dexter Loomis was feuding with Johnny Gargano and Gargano's group, The Way. While they were supposed to be enemies, one of the members of The Way, Indy Hartwell, was attracted to Loomis. Johnny and the rest of The Way were tired of Dexter Loomis and decided to end it once and for all. Gargano and Loomis faced off in a lover or lever match, meaning that the winner would get Indy Hartwell. During the match, Loomis accidentally bumped into Hartwell and he immediately lost focus. Johnny Gargano seized the opportunity and defeated Dexter once and for all. Like any good story, true love prevails, and Indy Hartwell decided to pounce on Dexter Loomis oh, and hang out with them. Just some good, wholesome family entertainment, right? But wait, listen that to this. Me. After their makeout session, Dexter and Indy got married. 
Then they went on a honeymoon with Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae taking what along. The heck? Johnny gets worried about what Loomis and Hartwell might do and sneaks into their hotel room. Gargano then finds a ton of condoms in one of their suitcases. Really? If that wasn't enough, Dexter- Wait, are you serious? You guys, I'm guessing I missed that honeymoon episode on uh, NXT uh, when that happened. Like, what in the world? They had condoms appear on WWE television then? Jeez, man. I wonder what's going to happen now with this TV-14 thing uh, for Raw. And I think NXT probably have it as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's continue the video, you guys. Andy then come back, forcing Johnny Gargano to hide in the closet. The newlyweds then have a pillow fight, causing them to shout things that make it sound like, well, you get the picture. I seriously can't believe they're able to show this on a PG show. Really? An old rivalry was rekindled like at the start of 2021 things. when Triple H returned. Randy Orton came out unannounced and demanded a fight with the game. Triple H refused at first, but eventually the Viper got his wish. The two men agreed to face each other later that night, but started fighting before a match could even start. As they were brawling, the lights in the Thunderdome went out and the game disappeared. Alexa Bliss appeared behind Randy Orton and then suddenly shot a fireball into the Viper's face. That's a pretty horrific way to hurt someone, and the moment was made even more disturbing when Randy Orton had to start wearing a mask to cover his burn. And you guys, with that fireball thing, we've seen that in pro wrestling for a good little while. Uh, we've seen it from numerous of superstars. And you guys, I mean, that is a dang like a very dangerous thing. And then Orton had to wear that mask. I'm guessing, if I'm not mistaken, I'm guessing that was like his uh, like makeup or something, as it was that red. But it's pretty much scary, you guys, to see um orton face was like that but look at his hand look like look right there on his his uh second finger you see like that little stain right there it looks pretty oh pretty gruesome if that wasn't creepy enough a few weeks later this would happen what in the world <coughs> i wonder what did this he put in his mouth you guys ladies and make gentlemen it gets Since dark it like was that. a no-holds-barred match, it's not surprising that Drew McIntyre and Sheamus' fight at Fastlane got pretty violent. While just about everything that happened was intense, by far the most disgusting moment came when the kendo sticks were used. Drew grabbed one of the weapons and then stabbed the Celtic what warrior in the, in the eye. McIntyre didn't gouge it out or anything, but this seems like something you'd see in a hardcore death match, oh, he not had a, a PG anyway. WWE show. There's plenty of other awesome and horrifying moments we witnessed in WWE this year. Watch the playlist on screen to see the best and worst of WWE in 2021. So you guys, after watching that video, let me know what you guys think about this video here with Tap Out Connor. Like I said, go to subscribe to him and I'll put the link of his channel down below in the description box as well for you to check him out. If you didn't uh, uh, quite catch his name, uh, that was on the left hand side at the bottom of your screen uh definitely let me know you guys what you think about it all the good stuff and you guys like i said subscribe to my channel um uh, wonder what's gonna happen on monday night raw tomorrow night on monday today is, i'm doing this video on sunday uh right now you guys so like i said i'm ready to see what's gonna happen on monday night raw tomorrow i appreciate you guys 100 for tuning in to my channel i got more wrestling news to come actually i got a, a SummerSlam prediction to come up this upcoming week so stay tuned for that you guys thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video